have arrived in Scotland! Scotty! Hmm, a beautiful wild camping spot. It's quite breezy, there's lots of midges. Um, we're collecting some firewood just here. Now, seeing as the Cairngorms is the UK's largest national park and a true wilderness area, we couldn't think of a better way to experience the wild than camp right on the shores of a lock. The next day, we awoke to sunshine and bucket loads of midges and we hiked up a mountain to do some filming at the top. Now, August is a perfect time to visit the Cairngorms because the beautiful heather is out in all of its glory and it's an absolutely spectacular sight to see. I'm currently right in the middle of my trip to the Cairngorms in Scotland. Uh, we've had a really, really good couple of evenings in the Hyde. The benefit of being in a Hyde is that you can see natural behaviour up close without disturbing the wildlife. It's one of the best places to see pine martens in the whole country. Very feline, very agile, beautiful, related to the weasel, otters, badgers. And to see them this close, it's really exciting. Prepping the Hyde before we set the cameras going and sit and wait and watch. We're waiting for it to get a little bit darker and then we're going to switch on the cameras and see what we can find. Bingo! This was my first time seeing a badger up this close and it was amazing to see it enjoy its natural environment. So many badgers! Having this encounter with a European badger made me realise how sociable these animals really are. If you say there's at least six, at least six badgers. Leaving the badgers behind, our next stop was the Cairngorm Reindeer Centre, where we had a very special encounter. So we have come to the Cairngorms Reindeer Centre, home of the UK's only wild roaming reindeer herd, and it is amazing. There's about 150 of them, gonna get right up close and personal. Can't beat it in this landscape. We have to do a lot of waiting around for shots to be made. Meantime, being fully digested and chewed up by midges, which is just my new favourite thing. Oh my god, they're going in my brain! Even though we were a little bit early to see these reindeer strutting their stuff during the rutting season, we were still able to appreciate how magnificent these animals really are. Merry Christmas! Reindeer have an amazing set of adaptations that help them live a life in the cold. And in a whiteout in the winter, it's really important that they stick together as a herd. So they've got this amazing adaptation in their hooves where when they move, the tendon shifts across the bone, forming an audible clicking noise. All these individual clicks are put together to help the herd to find each other and stick together when the conditions are really tough. You can hear their clicking as they're walking, so you can imagine that really helping them out in the snow. Oh, oh, hello, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Their fur is so dense, they've got over 5,000 hairs per square inch on the outer coat and each hair is hollow to act as an added layer of insulation. I expect them to be a bit like red deer, like massive, great big things, but they're quite small. And the antlers on these males are incredible. And by winter they are shed, and it's this rapid growth cycle that makes it the fastest growing bone in the animal kingdom. The beard that you can see here, it actually draws moisture away from its throat, so that in winter freezing water doesn't damage its windpipe. Clever, eh? such a sight, I can't get over it. The UK's only wild roaming reindeer herd back in our landscape and they're doing so well across 10,000 acres of Cairngorm beauty.
As you can tell, I was very much in my element frolicking around the Scottish countryside, which often meant having a look at the landscape from various different perspectives. Oh, God. Oh. This is how filming with VR works. You cannot hide anywhere unless you are out, literally in the ground. So we finished our filming here. A bit of reindeer, a bit of hiding, a bit of lying down. I highly recommend being in the Cairngorms when the heather is out. Late August time. And you can't predict the weather here, hence all the layers. Cairngorms, UK's largest national park and a true wilderness area. Okay, I think I'm good to go. Oh. They're gonna hate me for doing this.